Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The beginnings of the universe have long been a topic of considerable speculation and discussion in the fields of cosmology and theoretical physics. The widely accepted hypothesis, known as the Big Bang, suggests that the universe started out as an infinitely tiny, dense singularity some 13.8 billion years ago, quickly expanding to give origin to the world as we know it today. Nonetheless, there is a growing corpus of alternative theories that refute this received understanding. The Big Bang hypothesis might not adequately capture the underlying nature of cosmic genesis and the ideas that time has no beginning are two examples. The Big Bang idea is supported even more by the measured redshift of galaxies. The phenomenon of redshift is the appearance of light from far-off galaxies being shifted towards the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, suggesting that these galaxies are in motion away from our own. This occurrence fits the picture of an expanding cosmos in which galaxies are displacing one another as space expands. Astronomers may measure cosmic distances and verify the expansion of the universe with the help of the degree of redshift, which is directly proportional to the galaxy's distance. But even with all of its evidence and ability to explain phenomena, the Big Bang model has flaws and unsolved issues. The theory's incapacity to explain the early circumstances of the cosmos before the Big Bang itself presents one major obstacle. The theory's singularity, which is at the center, stands for an infinite temperature and density point where the rules of physics as we know them dissolve. This raises a fundamental question about what before the Big Bang and how the cosmos came into being. Constraints and questions unanswered. First, singularity. The idea of a singularity, which is a point with infinite temperature and density, presents serious difficulties for our comprehension of physics. It is challenging to infer what transpired at the actual Big Bang moment, since the laws of physics as we know them break down at such intense levels. Horizon problem. The CMBR's consistency over extremely large distances in the cosmos poses a conundrum known as the horizon problem. Areas of space that are presently widely apart were previously in close proximity and may have shared information, according to the Big Bang Theory. It is unclear how such uniformity could have developed though, as the CMBR's uniformity implies that these regions never had enough time to reach thermal equilibrium. Dark matter and dark energy. For the Big Bang hypothesis to explain some phenomena, such the observable gravitational interactions among galaxies and the universe's rapid expansion, it is necessary for dark matter and dark energy to exist. The dynamics of the cosmos are still mostly unknown, though, due to the nature of dark matter and dark energy being poorly understood. Cosmic Inflation Inflationary theory raises a number of new unsolved issues in addition to rectifying some of the inadequacies of the Big Bang model. For instance, the process underlying cosmic inflation and the length of the inflationary period are still being studied and discussed. The Big Bang theory's detractors abnormalities in cosmic microwave background radiation. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMBR, provides the Big Bang hypothesis with unquestionable support. However, there are a number of abnormalities and unexpected findings that cast doubt on this interpretation. The existence of large-scale asymmetries in the CMBR's temperature and polarization patterns is one such oddity. These are areas of the sky where the CMBR looks abnormally cold or shows odd alignments, respectively. Examples of these anomalies are the cold spot and the axis of evil. These abnormalities have sparked conjecture about alternate causes, such as exotic physics or cosmic oddities beyond the reach of present knowledge, because they are difficult to explain within the confines of the mainstream Big Bang paradigm. Observations have found features in the cosmos that seem to be at odds with the Big Bang model's generally uniform prediction of the distribution of galaxies on vast scales. Large-scale structures like cosmic gaps, filaments, and superclusters exist, despite the Big Bang model's smooth and homogeneous growth providing a poor explanation for them. 
These patterns cast doubt on the simplicity of the conventional cosmological paradigm by implying that the cosmos may be more hierarchical and complexly organized than previously believed. Further challenging the mainstream cosmological model is the observed dispersion of galaxies at extremely high distances beyond the so-called Hubble flow. Questions concerning our comprehension of the dynamics of the universe on cosmic scales have been raised by several investigations that indicate the existence of large-scale flows or unusual velocities that are difficult to reconcile with the Big Bang Theory's predictions. Alternative Theories for Redshift Events Although the Big Bang Theory often interprets galaxy redshift as proof of the universe's expansion, other theories have been put up to explain redshift events. The Weary Light Theory offers an alternate explanation. It suggests that interactions with matter or photons during the light's protracted voyage across space, not the universe's expansion, are responsible for the redshift of light from far-off galaxies. Tired light theory is still an alternate explanation that contradicts the standard understanding of redshift, even though most cosmologists no longer support it since it cannot explain other known phenomena. The concept of intrinsic redshift offers a different explanation for redshift occurrences. It implies that mechanisms, such gravitational redshift, within galaxies themselves may be the origin of some or all of the redshift, rather than cosmic expansion. Even while intrinsic redshift is not generally acknowledged by scientists, it does emphasize the importance of carefully weighing other possible causes when interpreting observational data in cosmology. Disagreements and Arguments Answers from Big Bang Theory Proponents The Big Bang Theory is still cited by its proponents as the most reliable and effective cosmological explanation for explaining the universe's beginnings and development. They emphasize how the theory's major predictions, such as the large-scale structure of the universe, the abundance of light elements, and the cosmic microwave background radiation, are richly supported by empirical data. Supporters also point out that the Big Bang model is predictive, having correctly predicted a number of observable findings, such as the presence of the cosmic microwave background radiation before it was discovered. The Big Bang Theory supporters stress the model's continuous improvement through theoretical advancements and fresh observational evidence in response to critiques and anomalies. They contend that the inclusion of other physical mechanisms or extensions, like inflationary theory, can account for anomalies like the large-scale structures and asymmetries in the cosmic microwave background radiation within the parameters of the standard model. Reactions to other cosmological hypotheses By putting up other theories for the universe's creation and development, alternative cosmological hypotheses provide a challenge to the Big Bang theory. These alternative theories address perceived flaws in the Big Bang concept and propose other explanations for observable events. Examples of these ideas include steady-state theories, plasma cosmologies, and cyclic cosmologies. Opponents of alternative cosmological theories frequently cite the dearth of empirical data or theoretical coherence that backs these alternative models. They contend that in order to explain known events, many alternative hypotheses rely on speculative mechanisms or ad hoc assumptions, failing to take into account important empirical limits like the abundance of light elements or the cosmic microwave background radiation. Critics often point out Occam's razor which says that until there is strong evidence to the contrary, simpler theories should be chosen. They contend that in spite of all of its difficulties and complexity, the Big Bang hypothesis is still the most straightforward and coherent explanation for the observable data that is now available. Our understanding of existence and reality is affected by the idea of a timeless cosmos, which calls into question long-held beliefs about the nature of reality and existence. Deep problems concerning the nature of causation, free will, and the human experience may arise in a timeless universe, where the conventional linear development of time from past to present to future may no longer be applicable. Our notion of cause and effect is called into question since it becomes more difficult to distinguish between the past, present, and future when time is not a restriction. Events might be perceived as coexisting or even pre-existing in a timeless framework 
appending our instinctive ideas of causation rather than as occurring in a linear order. In addition, the lack of time might prompt inquiries concerning the nature of persistence and change. Concepts like identity and continuity may become meaningless without a time context to which to attach our experiences, forcing a dramatic reassessment of how we conceptualize selfhood and personal identity. Our understanding of reality is significantly impacted by the notion of a timeless cosmos. The lines separating the objective from the subjective may become less obvious in a timeless world, as does the division between the material and the immaterial, the physical and the metaphysical. Our traditional understanding of the nature of reality may need to be challenged since concepts like space, matter and energy may need to be reformulated within a timeless framework. Reconciling scientific theories with metaphysical concepts of timelessness, bridging the gap between physics, philosophy, and metaphysics, an interdisciplinary approach is necessary to reconcile scientific theories with metaphysical concepts of timelessness. This pose a formidable challenge. From a scientific point of view, timelessness may be explored through ideas such as quantum physics and cosmology. Theories like perpetual inflation, cyclic cosmologies, and quantum superposition suggest that there could be a cosmos that doesn't follow traditional ideas of time, where events might happen simultaneously or in parallel and causality can be non-linear. Significant philosophical and conceptual difficulties arise when attempting to reconcile these scientific hypotheses with metaphysical notions of timelessness. Some religious traditions have an atemporal worldview, or Parmenides believed in a timeless eternalism. These metaphysical views of timelessness provide alternative frameworks for comprehending reality that may be different from what modern science assumes. It takes a close look at the underlying presumptions and consequences of each method to find common ground between these divergent viewpoints. In light of both scientific data and philosophical thinking, it could entail reassessing our conceptions of reality, time, and causation. The potential to reconcile scientific theories with metaphysical ideas of timelessness ultimately lies in its ability to expand our comprehension of existence and reality, providing fresh perspectives on the basic issues that have baffled scientists and philosophers for ages. We might be able to create a more complete and cohesive understanding of the cosmos and our role in it by combining various viewpoints from other academic fields. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel and be connected to this channel for more space information.